Hey guys, welcome back to The Lethal Wife. My name is Shay, and in today's video, we're going to be kind of doing a condensing sort of with a, um, I don't really know how to describe it, but basically we're gonna be putting some of my funds into the bank. But before I begin, if you are already a part of the Lethal Fam, hey sis, how you doing? And if you are new to my channel and cash stuffing, sinking funds, and challenges are things that interest you, make sure that you subscribe to my channel down below. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Um, once again, my nails, you know, they're crazy, they're broke, but we're not going to talk about it. We're not. We're just going to keep it moving over here. Um, but yeah, so basically what I'm doing is, as you all know, my husband and I are on a home saving journey and... When you're buying a house, they don't like to deal with cash. <laughs> they at least wanna see the trail of where the cash came from. So since we're getting closer to the time that we plan on buying a house, I think that, well, we both talked about it and we discussed that it would be better to get this started sooner than later. That way it's less questions later on. So there is gonna be a couple of envelopes that I'm gonna start putting, doing electronically in the bank account and i'm going to be depositing all the money for my savings challenges in there so that way it's all in the bank and then also it'll accrue a little sprinkle of interest you know we love a little sprinkle of interest over here so yeah but let's go ahead and get into the video so i'm just going to start with this first binder so in this binder um actually i don't think there's anything that i'm taking out of this binder those are just our spending money so with car funds so what I'm going to do with car funds, car funds right now has $600 in it, but I'm going to need to get an oil change. And then after I get the oil change, depending on how much that costs, because I want to leave $500 in here at all times. So if there's anything over that, that's what I'm going to deposit into the account. So I'll just have to do that later. For health, I kind of want to do the same thing. So there's $525 in here. So what I'm going to do is... I want $500 in here at all times, so for this other $25, I'm going to deposit that in the bank, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that money into a savings account. I don't know, I'm kind of stuck in between putting it into a savings account and splitting it into our HSA. So health has a goal of $1,000. So right now we have 500 in here and we're gonna have 25 in the bank. So what I'm gonna do is, first I'm gonna reach the goal of $1,000. So we're gonna start putting, building the $500 in the, in the savings account. So that's what we're gonna do. And then after we reach the $1,000 in the singing fund, then any money that we get after that, I'll just start separating into my husband and I's HSA funds. So today is, I don't know, but I'm just going to say today is the 15th. <laughs> Subtract, and I'm just going to say bank deposit. So now we'll have 500 in here. So health has 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 500. So we have the 500 in health. And for health, I think for health, I'm going to make that a savings account with Delta. No, I'm just going to make it a bucket. So I'm just going to make it a bucket over here with the sinking funds. So I'm going to do one for health. This is just how I'm keeping track of where money will get deposited. So I have it split up by my Ally and my Delta. So Ally is my online bank and Delta is my credit union here. So yeah. So we're gonna put 25, so that's the 25 from there. Stockpile I'm not messing with and home I'm not messing with. So that's the only one out of this binder right now because for car maintenance, we'll just have to see about that after I get my oil changed. All right, and then in this binder, so since I'm taking out money, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the money for travel. We're going to be putting out the $300 in travel. This is what's going to get deposited in um, on what I'm going to put on the credit card. That way we're not carrying all that cash when we take our trip. So we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. And then I'm just going to put that on Delta. 
gonna put that over here just because that's where I'm gonna move the money from there to my credit card so yeah I'm just gonna overpay my credit card basically so yeah that's it for travel vacay is fine whatever youtube i'm not messing with debt so for debt what i decided to do as you guys know i am current i was currently in the middle of trying to figure out the best way to save for one we need to pay off our cell phones and two we have to pay save for the six month premium for our car insurance so i'm thinking the best thing to do since our phones it's debt but it's not like lingering or there's no penal penalizing for that or anything like that I wanted to work on the car insurance first and then we can work on the, the um, phones late later which my husband is okay with as well so i'm gonna actually be putting this 150 towards car insurance but car insurance is going to be getting deposited into my delta account as well so i'm gonna put that here so we're gonna do car insurance which actually car insurance is gonna have a little more than that but i'll get back to it it's gonna have the other 50 that's in the car insurance well as well I'm not messing with war I'm not messing with um, entertainment or wardrobe or anniversary or baby. So with Black Friday, I actually decided to take Black Friday out and make it completely digital. So most of the money in here is already deposited. The only money that needs to get deposited is fifty dollars. So there was four fifty in here, and we're just gonna go ahead and deposit that other fifty. I'll put this to the side. We're just gonna go ahead and deposit the other fifty into Black Friday, which is over here in my singing fund one. Just because, no, on Black Friday, either way, we're gonna end up spending that money online. So I just feel like there's really no purpose in me saving the money in cash, you know? So we're getting rid of this, this envelope. Car insurance is another envelope that we're getting rid of. So I'm gonna put this money in the bank. Just because since it's gonna end up being like $1,500 and I'm gonna end up turning it right back around and putting it in the bank just to pay it, I feel like it just makes more sense to go ahead and take that one out now. So we have 20, 40, 50. So we have $50. That's gonna be going towards car insurance. So car insurance is gonna get 200 deposited. And that's it for this binder everything else is gonna stay and then for my last binder it's just gonna be these challenges so this is the monthly challenge so for this one some of the money is already deposited into the bank which this money is actually going towards furniture which I have in the savings account so um, this is already this 300 is already in the bank so we have 100 150 170 71 72 so 172 will be going towards um, furniture in the savings account and these are fake they're going to the side all right so that's it for that one for the $500 challenge, this one has a big 100 and we have $101, so that's gonna get deposited. That one is down here, this was a 30 day, hold on. So I'm gonna move all this up because that's the only one that's in that savings account. Then we got the 500, which is the 30 day. That was 101. Yeah, that one was 101. Put that to the side, that's it for that one. And then minimal money, that's one. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 25, 26, 27. So we have 127 going towards minimal. And you guys, so I am going to continue to stuff these. It's just they're gonna be electronic from now on, so I won't be taking cash out to stuff them. So I won't be able to do my challenge stuffing videos anymore. At least not. Well, let me not say any more, but just until we purchase the house, you know, and until they're done having to dig through all of our monies, like digging through our finances. Once all that's over, I'll get back to cash stuffing my challenges, but for now, it's just temporarily going to be digital. But we're definitely going to get back to this because I enjoy doing the stuffings and things like that. So I'm still going to leave my trackers in here. Actually, I'm going to kind of rotate this stuff just because... 
I won't really need those in the front. I'll just leave that like that. I'll put these in here. But yeah, we're definitely going to get back to this. I just, anything that's going to add up to be more than $100 in here, I'd rather not have it in here. I'd rather just have it in the account. And then we have one more challenge that we're going to be depositing. That's going to be the envelope challenge. And let me just grab a little piglet. So. So for our 100 envelope challenge, let's see how much we have. I kind of condensed this yesterday when I needed to. If you see my bonus cash stuffing, I had to make some change for some bills. I got some of the change from here, so it kind of has bigger bills. So let's see what we have. So we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 45, 55, 60. So what are we at, 360? Yeah, so this is 360. 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 370. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is $380. That's gonna get deposited into the bank. 380. I hate how crinkly these bills are because <laughs> I folded the money up. Now my thing looks all retarded over there. Um, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and just take the money out of my ones and fives challenge and go ahead and deposit it. But after that, I'm going to just continue to save those in cash just because those won't add up to be too much money. So I won't feel like we'll have money lost or anything. So with our ones, let's see how much we have. So the ones have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, But yeah, I am going to continue to put the ones and fives in these two containers. But I'm just going to go ahead and deposit the money while we're so far ahead. Because there won't be too much money left in here by the end of the year. So the fives have 50, 70, 90. So we have $90 for the $5 challenge. Which honestly, I'll probably just put these two together. So that's 127. I'll just make one account for those two challenges because they're kind of minimal, so. But all right, you guys, so that is it for this video. Oh, let me go ahead and count up what we have in total. All right, so now we're gonna count up this money. see what we have I'm gonna keep those ones separate so we have 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 850 900 950 a thousand oh you guys I didn't realize we had saved a thousand dollars in our challenges just like that well, that's not all from the challenges. I take that back. Well, that's five, six. This is 500, six, seven, 75. That would make it eight, nine. Well, we almost have all that from our challenges. Okay, so that's a thousand. 
now we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 100, that's 4. Alright, so we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, so that's 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So that's $1,482. 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 82. Yep. So we have $1,482. So this is how much we're going to be depositing. And then I'll just divvy it up how it's necessary but as you guys know me I'm gonna go through some of these bills and make sure that I have some of the nicer bills in my envelopes y'all know how I do whenever I take money back to the bank I make sure they get the raggedy bills and I don't feel no pain for them you guys that concludes this video today i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>